Well, hello everybody and welcome back to Going Medieval. We are going to continue trekking. We almost got the first floor of our Grand Castle done. We've got our two crafting rooms in the last video. We went over how to go and establish rooms. So we got an impressive workshop, which is giving us a nice little bonus to production. We're getting the workshop here. Right now this is a spare room, but once we get these weapon racks up, it will be a Grand Hall and it will give a happiness bonus. Uh, they uh, This should actually... Once the top part's done here, this should actually turn into the kitchen. And right now we're gonna focus on building up the cellar. However, we're having a bit of a wood crunch. So let us speed this up. But yeah, we got a lot planned for this Let's Play. We got the library finally going, the last one. We got both types of research going now. And we learned that the bookshelves look nice, but they just don't carry a lot of books. And unfortunately we can't put them on shelves or anything. So we're just gonna have to build a second story where we throw that stuff kind of like on the ground or we can store it in the walls. Uh, where it's already happy. We also got the second story of the residential up, so people don't have to sleep in the, the corner anymore. So once those beds get up, mainly just wood issues right now. So let's expand this a little bit more. We need to make sure we're growing lots of trees. Our, our lumber is pretty, pretty sad. Cool, we got the chamber, we got the workshop, we got the kitchen. So now we'll get a bonus on that. We're making lavish meals now. We've got a ton of apple trees going. We've got a lot of food coming in. You can see um, we got beets, we got apples. We got so much food. Um, I did actually take this farm away because I, I realized we were overproducing food. But I'm hoping now with all this wood, we can get some serious stuff. We also got siege with um, trebuchets in the last one and they did a little bit of damage to the wood, but they were not able to break the stone very well. So that was really good to know that the stone is uh, definitely paying off. First I was like, man, I wonder if I made a mistake. Nope, stone definitely was very much needed to protect us from all the trebbing. And we have a bit of work to go on and all that, but for the most part, we're in, we're in good shape. Cool. So we'll just continue to cut wood and expand. I'm also thinking about, oh nice, we got the John Travolta. Yes, beautiful. Now when people come here, they know this is this is where happiness dies. This is where happiness comes to die. <laughs> if they come here, they're not gonna make it. So the Raiders, Raiders better think twice. All right, cool. Well, let's cut all this up. Got a lot of saplings, got a lot of wood. Really eager to get this. Yes, finally, finally, finally. We got the staircase here. So we're going down because we're trying to get to a point where it's 32. It's not always easy to do. And you actually need ice. I've been told you need ice to really do it. Um, which kind of sucks. So, we're going to keep going down. I'm going to mine one block at a time to create one giant staircase down. So you can see we have a lot of room to work with. So we'll go down one more tile. But yeah, we don't want to make the mistake I made last time. Just mining this tile at first so they couldn't get the last two. All right, cool. We'll just do it one at a time. And then we'll put the stairs down and then that's just, that's it. That's as far down as I want to go. Um, yeah, it's like, it's kind of weird because you can see that it's 37 in here and it's freaking 40 <laughs> degrees here. I don't know, maybe this is the place I want to want to do it. But the weather is always changing. If it's hot outside, it will be hot, a little bit hotter down here, so. I think once I get enough open room, I'll have a better understanding. I think it's just because it's an enclosed space, so I need a little bit more, a little bit more going on there. I'm gonna wake somebody up because I'm impatient as heck. But yes, this will be a glorious, a glorious day. And we can see here, this is where we're gonna put our storage for items. Um, I got the, the wooden beam, and I think I do, or is that? Yeah, I think it's there. Okay, it's real. Wonderful. Let us focus on the cellar, though. Because once we get the cellar up, our food's going to last a lot longer. And Carl is the good one. He's a good miner. He's got a lot of interesting feats. Just he's disfigured, and he's very smart. He's not... He's on move. Okay, he's, he's kind of weird. He's one of those people. Alright, cool. Man, we better not have like a bajillion cats. I had to release like 
20 cats during like my like when I was doing all the terraforming I wasn't paying attention and there's like 20 of them so I just released them into the wild um it was it was pretty absurd I kept one I kept one I kept Earl I think that's the original cat and we got dog so like I said in prior videos you can teach your domestic animals to haul so we just finally trained the other dog that's great. And we have the cat on vermin control, and we're trying to teach Buttercup, the cow, um, how to haul, too. So now we have two dogs for hauling. That is absolutely insanely awesome. Um, all right, cool. Ted is going to build it. Here we go. Now the, now the magical journey can really start. A spare room. <laughs> that's funny. All right. All right, so... I don't think we're going to impact anything because we're two we're two down and I did that for a reason so we wouldn't impact the other stairs and um, so what I want to do is kind of like get a hailstorm all right well there goes all our crops that's great yeah I kind of just want to do that and then and we can do them however long we want and they won't typically collapse but like I said what I do is a little bit overkill I just re like if you screw this up, oh man, it's not pretty when you screw this up. And I know I could just use, you know, the basic principles. I'm not really too worried about symmetry with this. But um Yeah, this one's one tile. One is one tile longer. It should have been here. That's fine. <laughs> not worried about symmetry as I Redo the whole dang thing. Okay, cool. And we'll just, you know, store our goods here for a bit. Hopefully nothing falls on us. I don't think it will. Oh, we got coal down here. Very good. I don't know what we're going to find down here. Hopefully we get limestone. I have too much coal as is. All right. But yeah, once we get the cellar going, that'll be great. What's the temperature down here? 40? Yeah, it was... It's cooler up here, I think. 35? This is so weird. Well, we'll see We'll see what it's like once I get more dug out. Could be that the heat's just kind of trapped. And as I, you know, uncover more areas, the heat will spread out more. This is beautiful, though. Alright, cool. Yeah, we also set it up so we're we're getting rid of all the flimsy weapons and all the flimsy anything. And it's, you can do that really easy by going to the um, deconstruct when any of the deconstructs and just going to edit. And so basically anything that isn't is flimsy to good quality, no matter how many hit points, we're just destroying it. And that makes it so that your people only have access to the best. But we have been just stockpiling so much, so much from all the people, and we continue to get you know like. 10 sets of armor every raid. So, yeah. We've been breaking that stuff down. We're also making, you know, wh whatever we need. Looks like everyone is pretty well equipped right now. But I do want to get crossbows next. Fletch. Oh, here we go. Crossbows one. We're going to need mechanical parts for the crossbows. So, let's do until we have... No, not 120. Let's do until we have 30 currently have 10. I want that as a priority. Alright, it's winter. And we do have a lot of food. Um, I'm always losing, always losing my seeds and stuff because I'm just timing this stuff so bad. That's okay. It's kind of scary. But you can see it's like 28 and we're keeping 73s. We're... 61. So we finally we finally got these things to heat properly. So I guess maybe it was just a bug. I was having issues with clay, but it didn't make sense because clay has like one of the best thermal insulations. All right. So yeah, we're doing great. The clay is done. We got one more story to go. I don't know if people are sleeping in their rooms or not. So we got enough for 16 people right here. So I think it's time. So this was like a makeshift infirmary. Um, yeah, I think it's time to deconstruct all of this. The others are suffering from cold. They'll, they'll be fine. 
I should have enough winter clothing for everybody, but let's just get rid of all of that. And I didn't even actually think about that. I um, did not think about that. We need clay brazers in pretty much every room in here, too. Yikes. We're going to do nice ones, though. I want the clay brick brazers. And oof, I cannot see all that mining down there. Um, we're going to place it here, and we'll have two per room. We'll do two there. We got the fermenting station done. Here, I'll just place them on opposing sides. Here, two, two, two. Okay, that will keep us all, all in good shape. And the fermenting station, yeah, we're making um, fermented fruit juice. So, that will be fun. Research available. Oh, we got crossbows. Um, so, your, your standard crossbow is pretty dope and i think we'll only produce enough to have five of those we need two mechanical components there's no edit feature for that either so yeah, and we're we have plenty of sticks i think at least i hope we do yeah we have seven thousand sticks lumber still seems to be an issue i'm gonna have them all, all this stuff in. I love this button. This is a new button for me, at least. I, I haven't played. It wasn't here when I played a while back, maybe half a year ago. So, urgent hall. What the two dogs doing all that work? I need to get a male dog, I think, so that they can start breeding. I need a ton. I want like 10 of those dogs just hauling stuff. It will really, really help out. And if I want, I can have the dogs attack people too. So, that's kind of, kind of cool. All right. So down here, like I said, we're just going to overkill it with the uh, wooden beams. Man, once I have all four of these areas down, then we'll be in good shape. 39 degrees. So yeah, it's it's um, it's pretty cold. And it's, we're pretty far down. So we have storage here. And then it looks like I did another... Just the one. Cool. Storage there, and then underground storage. Perfect. That whole area can be done now. That whole area can be done now. Beautiful. And yeah, dirt has really good insulation, too. I think what people were recommending that you do is that you use um for the flooring, because you do want flooring. Flooring can add more. You want to use clay bricks. They have a thermal insulation of 0.8. Um, or you can use limestone. You can see everything else has terrible, terrible insulation. Uh, yeah, we could use limestone or clay. I'm going to use the clay because... Um, you know what? Honestly, there's actually no real difference between clay bricks and limestone. They each have the same thermal insulation and the same hit points. Stability of 4 on the clay and stability of 4 on the the limestone so realistically it doesn't actually probably matter as much i think it's more of a cosmetic thing if you want to differentiate them but the bricks definitely i think look better for for buildings limestone looks good on buildings too but i think bricks just kind of have a better aesthetic oh yeah that's right i rounded the corners so i better do that here it's gonna look weird there we go the game definitely has taken a long time to get to this point. Years, in fact. So, oh shit, I didn't realize I accidentally put storage up there. I'm a dork. It's okay though, it's it's just lame stuff. I don't care too much. <laughs> I don't care too much yet, because I need to get this all set up. Yay, we got another cat. Just what we needed. Cool, and we got our, we got our John Travolta banners. There we go. Beautiful. Everything's looking sharp now. I like the torches a lot on the outside. I think adds a good ambience. The way that we're gonna do this is we're gonna do a default stockpile down here, right? We're gonna clear all. All we're gonna allow down here is food. Whatever we want, food, food, food. No medicine right now. We're gonna see it's 37 here. That's gonna keep things pretty good. And then to even make everything even crazier we're gonna add shells um we want to build one shelf 
and then we're gonna make it for food only. I'm gonna put those shelves in the in the corner. So we're going to have this on the highest priority possible for food. Crap. Alright, let's do the beams first. We're going to need a lot of wood for this. I think this will be it for the, the cellar for now. This is quite a bit of space, actually. I might even use this for storing meals because you can see it's pretty freaking cold. Why is it so much colder there? Bugging me so much that it's colder there than it is here. I think, I think it's because of all the people running around, bringing in the heat. It seems like this is almost the perfect... Alright, let's let's play devil, devil's advocate here. 33 degrees. I think I actually need to delete this. I thought blocking it off would make it better. I think maybe it's trapping the heat. Yeah, it's a little wonky. You would, you would expect it to be colder d down here. It's much warmer. So there might That might actually be... Part of the game mechanics is there's a perfect height. That's fine. I can store weapons and other things down here. But yeah, like literally right, right here. 30, 34, 32. All right, now it's, yeah, there we go. Okay. All right, here we go. 32.8. There we go. Yeah, I think it was the door. The door was causing the issue. It's starting, starting to go down now. Cool, cool, cool. Awesome. We'll definitely use this for the cellar. Yeah, now it's 30. The heat's coming up. It's getting hot. That's cool. We'll use this for, like I said, uh, normal storage. There we go. All right, we got our first thing. So we're going to clear all. And what we're going to keep here is food. All right, and now that we have that, we're just going to mass spam these bad boys. There we go. I'm going to keep the corners, corners clean, though. If they have access, they can throw it on the floor. But now we'll be able to store a ton of food here. It should have kept everything. We'll see. Yep. Cool. Oh, gosh darn it. I didn't put priorities. That's okay. I can, um... I think I can do all of them in one go. I think so. Nope. Alright, well, I learned my lesson. <laughs> Oh, I can, you can. Yeah, I was able to do it. The trick was to turn them all to very low and then turn them to very high, and it did it. Cool. Yeah, this is great. We're going to be able to store so much food down here. So yeah, change them to one, and then change them to very high. And that will do it for all of them. Look at that. That is a lot of food that's going to be stored. Nice. It even changed the ones that were being constructed. Cool. I think this is actually going to be maybe enough? <laughs> Guess not. Alright. And we're going to copy this. Set it down here. Alright. And we'll just do we'll just do some more. Alright, I guess there's no reason not to put one in the corner there. There we go. So now we got two areas that are totally cow, they're 29, oh wow. 29 degrees down here. And 30, so it's frozen. This is, We got perfect cellars. It's probably because it's winter right now though. It's actually probably colder outside. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we'll see what it's like in the summer when it's hotter. But, alright, we're keeping it above freezing. Right, and we got the stairs coming up second place, but these guys are all isolated, so they should be able to stay pretty warm. We're burning through a lot of sticks, but we have 7,000 sticks. Not too concerned. Um, yeah, this is looking pretty good for the most part. And did we get the room? Did we get that room? No, we did not. What are we missing from the grand, the great hall? One large table or medium, six chairs, we got that, eight wall banners, we have that. Trof, at least four wall torches, we have that too. That shrine's bed or workstation, Min minimum of 50, ah, we don't have 50. We need, um, 
We need more room. You know, it's possible what I can do is um, push this in a little bit. Or we can just build another one upstairs. But that seems kind of silly. Um, there's really not going to be too much in here, to be honest. I'm... Gold snap, that's fine. I'm partial to... Alright, we, we should have enough food. Um, hold on, I, I gotta... I gotta play farmer for a second. Jeez Louise, stop. This game, man. Alright, we gotta harvest everything. Yeah, we gotta harvest everything we can. The cold snap will kill it. Even the apple trees. Cool. Should get a bunch of food, and it should store for quite a bit of time. Alright. So, my thought process is, is I'll expand it here. We'll add a bajillion more backgammon. I accidentally selected one of the settlers when I was doing all this. Uh, yeah, we might lose some of the ceiling. That's okay, though. Yeah, we lost a lot of the ceiling. That's fine. It had to be done. There's no... No way around it. I'm gonna run the beams more like this, though. Alright, once the support beams go up, I'm sure I can do it. Unless I just need another freaking support beam. Which I will do. I feel pretty confident now, though. I mean, look how much food we have. So, I mean, these guys are 23 degrees. So this is all frozen, basically. Why are the dogs sleeping down here? Again, like 23 degrees. Alright, sweet. Yeah, I think that this will be 50. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. This would have been 50. We only needed to add a little bit more. Oh, wait, wait, whoa, whoa, this is a hundred. Yeah, that should do it. Once the, once everything gets up. It's always that one tile, though, that has to be a problem. There we go. Um. Man, we're running out of trees to cut down. Problem is, is I have too many sticks. Should probably take a peek at uh, planting a little bit more of a variety. We'll just do, we'll just do strips of uh, ones here. Field maple. Ooh, we got lots of maple. Plant all those, and then birch trees we already got. Cool. Yeah, let's get some more more wood planted. We're gonna need quite a bit of wood, but we got a lot going for us. I like this setup though, it's really peaceful. I feel, I know my people are pretty safe inside here. I mean, the apple trees are really starting to take off here too. We got plenty of food. And hopefully soon we get more wood. Need to get all, oh wow, they're planting in a cold snap. That's not good. I'm not gonna stop them, I'll just buy, I'll just buy seeds. Like I said, I have my, my little, I have one line per type of food we're growing that are set to just produce seeds you see here going to seed only we'll get 10 seeds per it's like 100 beet seeds and then these guys are set to uh just get the food so they're ripe we get maximum maximum beatage that's why we have so much food it's pretty awesome really recommend you do the one strip strategy there's no point in having like Everything's set to like flowering so you get five beets five that because I can get 15 and one seed and then have extra seeds But you have to account for um, Things going wrong too Okay research we can make ice now we could do that in the winter and then in the summer we will have ice um, stone carving Walls statues that's cool steel wood carvings uh, wooden weaponry don't need any of that. I want crossbows too. We need advanced for that Preserving food to decorative Silvering axes maces swords armor to research three and armor two And ice making let's pause real quick. I guess we should think 
so we can produce his ice. So you can, in the winter, you can put these outside. So... We'll make five. Need a bunch of wood for it. And then... We need to put the advanced research station here. Sure, we can... Ample room for it. And so the ice box... Oh, generates ice. And then you place... Ooh, yeah, we forgot about this. We'll deal with that later. I don't want to select it because I want to remember. But there's supposed to be a, a way I can move the ice. I think actually what you do is you go to the um, stockpile itself. And you tell it to store the ice in the stockpile. So you can shrink a zone, like so, and then create a default or a dumping. That's where waste resources yet. And then we can create this separate stockpile. Clear all material, raw material. And then basically we just need to do ice box blocks and very high so we'll store three ice blocks there and um, same concept over here and what's cool is like I, we can just copy settings from this if we can select it it's been a while since I've played but I, I do remember some things cool and now we have an ice block very high thing here. So we'll store ice blocks down there and in the summer summer we'll uh, be able to freeze that room. We will have to put a door on it though for it to work really well but is I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to keep it open. Because uh, like I said we saw that it, it causes heat up issues if you bottle it all up too. Oh gosh. Good lord. And the most important thing that I forgot the floor. We're going to do a clay brick floor for the whole thing down here. That's going to help keep it cool. Unless I didn't forget it. Oh, it looks like I can't do anything where the, the shelves are. I should have put it down first, but that's okay. Um, and I'm going to just do the whole, whole area down here. Keep it consistent. But yeah, we should be able to increase the thermal insulation even more with the brick. Alright, and that will free up some of the upper storage area. I don't know. I guess I could store all food here. If it's if it's low priority, any excess can just come here. That's fine. Finally got our cellar done. That's pretty dope. Very cool. Well, anyway, thank you so much for watching. <laughs>